Magica, The Healing of Faith and Love by Erica Ruiz and illustrated by Tran Tan Tuyen. One day, Magica got out of bed and in a very bad mood. She was tired of the way her family treated her. Her mother and siblings never spoke any positive words to her. They never said, I love you. You are important. They always complained, even when she tried her best. Magica rushed out of the house in tears after another round of argument with her mother. She was tired of feeling empty and lonely, even with everyone around. She was tired of feeling worthless and unloved. She rushed into the big chapel next to her house and kneeled by the altar. <laughs> oh God, I pray that you take away this pain that I feel inside my heart. I just want to be a happy girl. Tears poured down from Magica's face as she prayed. When she was done, she fell into a deep sleep. Magica hugged herself in a fetus position as she slept for a very long time in front of the altar. When Magica opened her eyes, she was surprised to see that her hands were glowing. The purple and white light spread over them, and the more the light spread, the greater the tickly sensation became. It felt funny, and she laughed. <laughs> what could this be? Magica jumped to her feet, feeling a bit startled and afraid. Suddenly, she felt a divine presence next to her, and when she looked up, she found a stream of bright white light pouring in through the window as her angel wings spread open. They slowly disappeared. You have been given supernatural powers, Magica. The power to save the world from all the hurts and pains is in your hands. Now. When the light vanished, Magica noticed that all the pain, loneliness, and worthlessness that she always felt was gone. She felt stronger. She felt beautiful. She felt fresh. She was different. She looked like those angels she had read about in the Bible. She felt like a superhero. Happily, Magica rushed out of the chapel and into the streets. People noticed her glowing fingers as they pointed at her. They all gathered around her because they felt the need to speak to her. In the crowd, Magica spotted three sets of people and she was going to heal them. To the broken-hearted, she stretched her glowing hands from her heart and touched their hearts. Slowly, the hurt they had carried in their hearts spiraled in golden circles out. Magica replaced the hurt with meditations and prayers, which would make their soul stronger. To the rejected and abandoned kids, Magica smiled and raised her hands to the air, to their heart. Receive power to overcome all the harsh words and bad ways that people have treated you. Silvery flakes fell on the abandoned kids and they felt happy again. They felt loved and wanted. To the abused and sad mothers, Magica gave them the strength to be beautiful and strong again. 
She gave them the power to discover their inner strengths and replace their traumas with inner peace and they were able to see that they can be whoever they want to be. To the kids with ADD and autism, Magica made them feel powerful, special and unique. They learned to accept and love themselves because no one was truly normal anyways. They now have control over their own thoughts, body movements, and can focus their attention. Ma Magica was an angel. She healed all broken children with low self-esteem, and they began to love who they are. They formed visions for their lives, and these visions were pursued by writing daily goals in their journals. Magica was once broken, but she had found healing for herself and others through the power of love, faith, and God.